everybody, it's Zero Productions here, Back From The Dead, and I'm doing a collection video of all the recent trains I purchased in the past three months since August. Because, um, nearby my local shopping centre in the car park every Sunday, they host a Sunday market, so brick it brack, and you won't believe how much Thomas stuff you find there, so... Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you. There are about 20-ish items, I, I guess. I mean, there might be a, a couple of bonus ones. But, yeah, I suppose you should probably get started before my 15-minute limit is overrun. So, yeah. T let's start with the take-alongs. Now, um, I might mention that all the take-alongs I have here are bought from the same store. They sell a bit of, you know... Wouldn't worry, but also a lot of take along and I know these really been to take alongs, but um I actually am kinda getting into it. As well as virtual, but we'll get into that later. So firstly of all, you might have seen him in my videos, we have Ned. You see there isn't a wooden railway model of Ned yet. We've got an Oliver last year, the Oliver and Oliver pack. But we still have no Ned and Buster, but we really don't care about Buster, we can just replace him with George. Anyway, even the one where I did make a model of Ned, I don't know if it'd be pretty good. I mean, just uh, take a look at the Oliver model. So, we take a long Ned. His bucket has a very nice flexibility. You can put it in many various positions because the arm moves, this little arm that's attached to the bucket moves. And when the bucket moves, so basically. You have lots of different poses you can do. And he's also well detailed. So, yeah, Ned. Our next take along item is yet another raid vehicle, and it is the take along Lorry 1. Now, one odd thing I find about this is the fact that it has a little trailer, and in the episode it appeared in, the lorries didn't have any trailers. It's also odd seeing that the wooden railway lorry one also has a trailer as well, so... I don't know, they were both made by the same company, Learning Curve, but... Oh well. The reason why I bought this is because it's always nice to have a generic lorry, and this one is actually more detailed and actually more accurate to its basis than the wooden railway one. Now that the vehicles have moved out of the way, Let's take a look at the engines. Okay, first up, we have not one, not three, not five, but two take-along coldies. As I said, I both got these at the same store, and I want to play, I only bought them out two weeks apart. So, yeah, this one I bought most recently, and it is in a lot more better condition than this one. And this one... Well, I, as I already said, was the one I uh, bought at first. So I am pretty amazed I got two take long coldies. I've heard that these are pretty hard to come by. But yeah, they are highly detailed and they are more. You know, like a scare wooden railway engine. Or let's just use older again, even though it's not an engine. They're actually a lot more accurately scaled instead of, you know, um, something like this. Because, you know, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's the one thing wouldn't really has been good at, and that's scaling. Okay, so now we move on to our last two engines, and they are rare, I suppose you could say, a bit like, actually, quite a few of these take on items, that's why I bought them. Um, the only reason why I bought these is because they're rare and hard to come by, and I just really want to show off, because I'm so mean, ha! Huh? Is the Metallic Gordon... And Metallic Percy. Now, you might have seen the Metallic Percy um, in an un-uploaded video, but you see, it was a parody of The Great Race, and it was a two-parter because it was so long, but I accidentally did the first part, so now all that remains is the second part, which comprises from, let's see, I think it's from The Bridge Jump as to the end, yeah, because the first part had I'm full of surprises and streamlining. Um, so yes. Um, as I said, the only reason why I bought these is because they're metallic and they're rare. 
Well, the metallic is kind of wearing off on Percy's cab on Gordon's wheels, but apart from that, yes. So, ha, I, I, I've got two metallic engines, and they're both on the Steam team. Yeah, like, and, and you said metallic Neville. Yeah, who the hell cares about Neville? He only appeared in, like, three episodes. And one of them was a learning segment. Ha! Huh. That concludes our take along section of the video. And now we'll move on to the wooden railway. So, firstly of all, we have this lovely, very actually well preserved, surprised face Thomas. Now, I already have one of these, but as seeing how Thomas and Railway is like a bunch of Thomases, and I'm sure like there's a video where he says he has like a Vice President Thomas, I don't know, and I myself uh, is an art. Uh, I myself, I have quite a lot of Thomases. See, I mean, I have so many, I can't fit them all in this uh, window shelf, so yeah. <clears throat> but I digress. Okay, so there's nothing much to talk about this. It's just an ordinary Thomas of Surprise face that came in the Thomas and the Jetpack set. So we'll move on to the Edward. Now, this Edward was found at the same stall as the Thomas, and there is a bit of a story behind it, which I'll explain. You see, um, on the cab, if you can just see, this was where the tag used to be, what the price was. And the price of it, it said it was $5. So, assuming that the whole entire train cost $5, like uh, the metallic gold when I bought it at the store, this only cost $5. But that was only recently today, so this was bought much earlier before that was. So I assumed, ah, oh, you know, everything's fine, da 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 da, because I only had one Edward and that Edward was getting really chipped. Anyway, um, when we had gone now to the market, we discovered another tag on the back of the tender, it was here, and it said that the tender alone would cost three dollars. The whole entire train cost eight dollars, so. Technically, I stole Edward's tender without paying for it, but the guy at the counter didn't say anything, so he just assumed, ah, uh, he probably just gave it to us or he didn't know, so, yeah. When we went back there, the stall was gone, so there was nothing we could do about it. Okay, let's move on to diesels. Okay, here we have this um, Devious Diesel. It is the 2004-5 model, the one that was used for quite a long time, which I have a lot of those models in that area. That's when I started really collecting. Um, I also have another one of these, and when I compared the faces, and there was something a bit odd. I thought the faces were different, but it um, turns out the eyes were just painted differently, looking down, sort of straight out to you, staring into your soul. Uh, yeah, it's pretty generic. I mean, there's nothing really to talk about. It's a diesel, though. This is like the diesel in the good old days when you could get away from having a snarl instead of having some sort of chubby, happy baby face or some crap like that. And now we have Diesel 10, the godfather of all diesels, which I used to be absolutely scared of as a kid. I actually used to bury this at the bottom of my trunk of trains, um... Yeah, I, I bought the aquarium set, and it came with that big massive thing the set came in. So I just needed to sell trains, and I always put them at the bottom. Uh, but I bought this at a store, which I um, bought a couple other things all off, which we'll see later. Um, so yeah, it's actually in good condition, and much better than my other one, because I kind of hid it all the time, because I was so scared and angry at it for being such a mean diesel. And also the claws and, well is still mostly attached on mine well I literally like pulled it so far it kind of came out so I could have it much come out much further because I have to admit that is pretty feeble I mean what is that a uh, three two centimeters long like, that's so sad although it is in good condition so that's basically the reason why I bought it it'll also be good to make it like diesel tins brother or something so yeah that concludes train wooden oh no wait hold on there's one more Come back in. here i have a smudger i only bought it most recently alongside with the metallic gordon the coldy 
And uh, what else was it? I'm sure I bought something else recently. Oh yeah, there's another item as well, which we'll get to later. Okay, this is another smudger. I already have a smudger, but I, you know, I could always do it with another smudger. So yeah, they're pretty easy to have. Could make into a custom or take its face off like what EE93 did. So yes, smudger. Okay, so I forgot about him. <laughs> okay, so we've got trains out the way and we've got our only vehicle out the way now time for rolling stock so here is the set of waterworks yet again i already have this but it is rare and hard to come by so you know i guess it is pretty useful to have you know maybe put it alongside with flynn and bell or something yeah, so they are pretty good to have. Although this one, the water slash liquid, whatever you want to call it, um, in here has dried up. And um, my other one hasn't, so you can see like little spots of the blue stuff there, whatever it was. And yeah, it still works though, kind of. It's hard to see on this bumping, bumping turf. But I'll just put it over here. So now my second piece of rolling stock, and my last, is this grey troublesome truck which came in that two pack um it didn't the stall there didn't actually have the red troublesome truck probably because of battery leakage one of the worst toy collector's nightmares but yes um and this is my fourth one of this one and my and i only have two of the red ones but ironically, both uh, of my extra one of these came from a flea market. One of them I got like when I was really young alongside this um, freight car that came with this Lux Cranky thing. And then this one, um, yeah, it was with a massive lot of trains. I also got the Smudger there as well. There was a Molly and a Hank kind of flora, but the Molly and... The Molly and sorry Hank didn't have their tenders, so it wasn't worth it. And each one was five dollars, so you know, a person my age had to put a lot. You know, so that cost me like twenty dollars to buy all of those if I did. You know, I, I just spent twenty dollars a day alone. So that concludes the wooden railway section. I know, very long. And we move on to the penultimate section, which is Ertles. So let's start with an Earthly Thomas. Um, all of the stickers have fallen off. The buffer stickers and the little sticker over there. All of them have fallen off. Oh, and the eyebrows have come off Thomas's face as well. Um, this is actually a very old model. Um, I bought it today as well. This one was made in 1985. Because all the table, I mean, Earthles, <laughs> sorry. I seem to be buying like from the really early days. Although one of them is from ninety four, I think. I'm I'm just checking right now behind the camera. Yeah, no, actually ninety seven. Ninety seven. So this is you know I wanted to buy it because I you know I already had um, a couple other Ertles and I thought oh I, you know, you're gonna buy Earl if you're gonna buy Ertles you have to have an Ertle Thomas. It's an incomplete collection if you don't have Thomas. It's a necessity. Okay. Um, then we also have this, um, rare line, I suppose you could say. It is an original 1984 Opal Percy with his paper face slightly coming off. So I find, yeah, I found this a couple of weeks back. Yeah, it's in, in, I guess, kind of good condition. I see fairly used. One of the buffers has come off, and the coupling back here has came off. This one's bent. Part of his left eye, no, right, sorry, right eye. My right, or right eye is coming off. Um, yeah, surprisingly the side rods are still on, but the little pistons on both sides have been torn right off. You can see where they used to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is actually my first, oh, my first Ertl I bought recently. Okay, and now here's the Ertl I was talking about behind the camera from 97. It was the year he was introduced to the uh, Ertl range. It's Duke! Everybody's favourite one season character. Yay! Everybody's begging for it to come back. 
so this is from 97. I actually got this at the store that was selling all the uh, cars, which was the one I got Diesel 10 Terrence from. There was also a little Annie there, or the Clabber, I don't know, a little bull straight, but um, I just decided not to buy them. Yeah, I think they're in pretty bad condition, I guess. And the coupling back here is completely snapped off. Uh, this side rod here is a bit loose, a bit faulty. Apart from that, yeah, pretty good. A lot of paint wear around the edges, as you usually get. But yeah, the face is pretty accurate, highly detailed, and yeah. The one thing I never liked about Ernest is how the tender was connected to the actual engine. So, like, when you're doing sharp bends, it was, like, really hard to. But... Although, I, I have just come into the Ertl market, so I'll just put them over there. Okay, now comes to our final section, which is the random slash uh, miscellaneous. Okay. In, I actually didn't show you one of the Ertls, which I got, was actually an original Ertl James. The only reason why I didn't show you it, because he kind of belongs in the miscellaneous section. Um, let me explain. So, here he is. He's had a lot of wear and tear. Paint on his roofs are completely gone. It's the original 1984. And, because they have paper faces, and we see our Percy turned out, James is even worse. Yeah. His face is literally gone. All that's left is a little bit of a smile. So, I guess you could say, here's the true Slender engine. I guess. I mean, yes. Now, the reason why I didn't show you this was because he came in a bag, and there was a couple of things in the bag, such as this My First Thomas Harold, which is interesting because when you rotate the uh, rotating thing, the wings, this little thing down here moves. See? I don't know what it was supposed to do. Maybe it was like part of a destination. I don't know. Uh, apart from those two Thomas things, it was just like cars and this very bizarre Jurassic World thing. It's a, it's like an overall cage, which is like really hard to open. Hold on. Okay, I got it. So basically, you open it, and there's also this little pretend raptor thingy in it with a really bad dental health. So yeah, when you put it back in, it just slots in, and when you close it, the head pops out of this little... <sighs> Turn on the tail sticking out, okay. His head pops out of this little thing here, like a jack-in-the-box, so we really don't care about it. It was like a bunch of cars that came in as well, and uh, like an aeroplane as well, but it was very plastic, and I broke up on the wing, so I just threw it in the bin, like I'm going to do with this. Because I don't need it. And it's pointless. So, yeah. Screw you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, at least I got into something, I guess. And so, we come to our final item on the list. Which is another miscellaneous item. And it's neither Ertl, nor, nor Take Along, nor even Weird Jurassic Park thing it's matchbox you see um there remember that place that was selling all the cars yeah I, I got this from there as well it's a postmaster general's car so i guess you can say it's basically postman pat's fan but like really old-fashioned apparently it says it's from like the early 20s it says 1921 model the camera will focus. Yeah, it's a 1921 model T4. So I decided to get this if I was able to do like a flashback episode because my Caroline's wheel broke. So, and yeah. It was also just good to kind of have this sort of stuff around. Yes, yeah, so you might see it's an upcoming video, which I won't tell anything else about. But yes, hold on, the camera's out of focus. Okay. Here we go, all 22-ish items. Some of them Thomas, some of them, uh, I don't know. So, thanks for watching this video. If it gets a lot of good feedback, then I might do a continuation from 
December to February, which for me is my school holiday, so I'll be able to go out uh, a lot. So yes, hopefully you'll see a lot more videos coming up then, since basically for the past year, I'd say, I've been pretty much dead on this channel, like on my other channel, I've been pretty alive. But now that channel's dead, and I've just been procrastinating for a while, so yeah, happy Halloween, I guess, because... It's Halloween, I just need to throw in a rat into thinking about Halloween because I haven't made a Halloween video. Okay, right. Well, bye.